Hello traders, my name's Ray, better known as Samurai Trader and I love day trading. My job is to teach you how to day trade the world's best day trading strategies, no matter which market you trade, futures, Forex or stocks. Before we get underway, please ensure that you subscribe to my channel by clicking on the little red button below to make sure that you keep up to date with my most recent videos on how to day trade your way to financial freedom. Now, don't forget to take notes. Feel free to pause the recording as we go through this session because just that one idea may make a massive difference to your trading. Also traders, these videos are raw, real and unedited. So if I make a little blunder on the way through, you're gonna to have to forgive me. So let's get down to business. In today's session, we're going to be covering how to day trade crude oil, the black gold using Renko charts. Now I want you to remember, even though today we'll be looking at Renko charts, in the next episode we'll go to tick charts, but you apply the exact same strategies and ideas to any market, whether you trade futures, Forex or stocks, and you can apply the exact same trading strategy, entry strategy to tick, time, range or Renko charts, it really doesn't matter. Now, I do need to pull up the disclaimer, there is a risk in trading. Please feel free to pause the recording and read the disclaimer. A very, very quick advertisement. Number one, please make sure you subscribe so you can keep up to date with all of my videos. Now, if you're a new or experienced tr trader and you like what you see and you're serious about a, a trading career, I'm serious about your success. For $197, you receive my top 15 plus day trading and swing trading strategies. There are hundreds of handouts, literally, I mean it, there literally are, step-by-step -step instructions, over 200 online video instructions, uh, 200 hours of online. In fact, there's over 250 videos now. I also provide you with my free indicators for TradeStation, NinjaTrader 7, 8, MT4, Think or Swim, and if you've got a trading platform that I don't cover, I give you the indicator settings so you can do exactly the same thing on virtually any trading platform. So make no mistake traders, this is a $10,000 plus program for a lifetime access for only 197, but there is one more thing. And for a limited time only, you can also join my live coaching sessions. Uh, for over two years now, I've been running two sessions a week, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If uh, you're unable to attend, as I've got members from all around the room, I have over 200 traders that attend every month. Uh, the sessions are recorded. And so if you really wanna drill down and to truly fast track, uh, I include one month of coaching in this program, all for only $197. And after month, one, uh, the first month, I'm positive you wanna continue. It's only $97 a month. Uh, well, you may say, well, look, if it's that good, why do I have to have coaching ongoing? Every great trader has a coach, just like every great sports person has a coach. But anyway, that's your choice. So for $197, um, if you visit my website, there's a video there on what you receive. Uh, there's nothing else like it. This is the most comprehensive program. End of ad, let's get into it. So today we're talking about trading the black gold, CL, which is $10 a tick. The last four or five months, because of COVID, it's been very, very quiet, where typically we would see around 600,000 contracts a day, where we're only sort of seeing being traded a day, I should say, where we're only really seeing around 250 to 400,000. The volume is way down. Now, as you're about to see, you can still do extremely well, but what we need to do then is adjust the time frame that we're trading. Now, you can still use a high time frame. You just have, if you're day trading, for an example, you're going to have less trades. Now, you also need to have a goal, is that it's very, very important you have a target as a trader. Now, if we went and say, took an account of $5,000 and we were to target 200 a day, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, uh, for an example, we've got a, and I may as well bring it up now, we've got a trade setup which kicks butt virtually every day called the 2B. 
and you only need three net two Bs a day netting eight ticks and I'll show you how to do that, okay? And as I say always traders, if you can do it once, you focus on that one trade, you focus on that one trade, execute that, then you start looking for the next one. If you can do it once, you can do it again and again and again. Now the bottom line is, if you're netting an average of 200 a day with a $5,000 account, within 16 weeks, 16 weeks, and that is every time you double your account, say you go from five to 10, from 10 to 15, you start trading an additional contract, you have the potential of earning upwards of $10,000 a week within 15 weeks. Now, everyone's going to have different individual targets and goals, but you've got to have one. Now, I will point out that the CL and with every market, it really depends on the broker requirements. For example, with TradeStation at the moment, the maintenance margin requirement is 5,100 and there's no day trading margin. So therefore, really, look, the ideal scenario is to have around $6,000 in your account. Now, of course, there's the micros, there's a lot of other markets you could be trading. However, we've got a lot of full-time uh, oil traders that are in my coaching room and they love it. But going back a couple of months ago, the margin was up there at $10,000. So the margins are important, the margin requirements. And as you can see, 200 a day, which I'll show you how to do that in a moment, uh, <laughs> the bottom line is outstanding. Now. One of the things we always look at every day is our volume. Now, on this particular day, we saw that uh, that oil was rolling over. Now, oil rolls over, the contracts expire every month on or about the 18th. And we can see here the last contract was the X contract and this is the day of rollover. That particular day, there was 229,000 contracts traded and on the forward contract, the new contract, there was 264,000. So there's plenty of contracts being traded and that's really important because we need a market where we've got good volatility, a good trading range and good volume trading that trades on a regular basis. Now the next critical factor here traders is that if trading has not been kind to you or if you're struggling and you've probably seen this if you're a regular, if you're a member or if you're a subscriber, or you would have seen this regularly, I show this virtually every session. You want to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame. We have what we call an entry chart and I'm going to show you that today. We have an, uh, an entry chart, the EC, and we have an anchor chart one and an anchor chart too. And we want to be buying these pullbacks, retracements, not the breakouts, but when we get a pullback and a trend continuation. Then we have these really good moves up here, which are our divergence trades, okay? And so what I want you to focus on initially is trading with the trend. And when we go to the charts, I'll show you how to read the chart from the right hand side. And I'll, you, you, you'll see what I mean in a moment when we get there. So let's get to the charts directly. Uh, where am I? Let's see, here we go. There we go. So what we're looking at uh, here traders is a two tick Renko, okay? Now, uh, I'll just describe the indicators. I have a custom made MACD and, and you can set this up exactly the same on a normal MACD, you just use a different setting. I've got a, a, a two smooth stochastic, you, you use normally a normal stochastic uh, and I have five EMAs. Now, the little dots here, they're, they're simply an ATR, uh, what we call stop and flip indicator and you can actually, the same thing you can use as a parabolic stop, there's a number of different indicators and that's, you can use those if you want to really make sure you trail. Now, being a two tick Renko, what it means is for each one of these bricks, I call them candles just to keep it simple, okay, is $20. And each one of these steps, we call these steps, is worth $10, okay? Now, being a two tick um, uh, Renko, if I had an entry at the high of this third candle, see this white paint bar, this is what we call our super scalper, 
And so we're looking at entering on a certain trade on the close of the third candle. Now, if we do that, close of the third candle, we're going to have a, and say if we use a buy stop, a buy stop is where we have an entry one tick above the third candle. You'll end up with an eight tick stop, which is $80. Now remember earlier I said you need to have at least $5,000. We never ever risk any more than 2%. Traders, if you start risking more than 2%, okay, you're gonna blow your account. It, it, I, it, it's just the law of nature. The lower the risk, the more profitable you will be. So therefore, if I've got an eight tick stop, and I'll show you how we can have much smaller stops in a moment, means that um, I'm well under the two percent rule of a five um, in a with a five thousand dollar account. Okay, so that would be eight ticks. Now we also have what we call the rule of one, where we enter on the first candle. See that candle there? Now if we enter there and we use the buy stop, it is to put an order in front of the market so you get stopped into the trade. You're going to have around a five to six tick stop. So there are times when you look at entering on the first candle and there are times when we want to enter on the close of the third candle. And it all comes down to momentum. Okay, it comes down to momentum. Now, what I've got here, so this is what we call the entry chart. The chart in the middle here is what we call the anchor chart one. And the chart on the far right is the anchor chart two. So you've got a two tick, a four tick, and a seven. Now, we adjust the time frame on our charts depending on the speed of the market. We, we generally are consistent with the chart type and size you're gonna be using. However, so if you, you decided to turn your computer on, do three or four hours of trading, and the market was extremely fast, the two tick is impossible to trade you'd have to look at probably a four tick, which I'll bring up in a moment. But typically, the two and the four work hand in hand. That is, during the globe accession, once that, because oil's open basically 23 hours a day. So during the globe accession, you can easily trade, nearly always, the two tick. Sometimes you've got to jump up to the four. And even during a slow um, New York day, you can trade the two. But we'll leave time frames out of it right now. And let me explain a few other things. See that black hash mark there? And let me expand this and see if we got any others. Well, you can't see any others there right now, but these are lines that, that I draw on manually because oil has some very particular things on it. For an example, round numbers. Now, let me just um, perhaps uh, scroll back here a bit. Now, this is actually better. Here we go. So see this here. This is... 41 a barrel, 41.20, and up above we've got 41.50. And what you'll notice is, and we've got these dash lines are pivot levels, okay? So notice it bounces here, and it bounces here. Note we bounce around here and off the pivot. Notice we bounce off it for round number. These round numbers are very important for support resistance levels when it comes to trading the black gold. And it's something that a lot of traders don't realize the importance of these. So remember earlier I said, one of the key things we want to do, particularly early in your career, is trading with a trend, okay? So this is where we're going to lean heavily on the trend direction of our anchor charts. Now, if you're a brand new trader, what you do is you start off with one anchor chart and you expand to two. So like driving a stick shift initially, where you've got to change the gears, push the clutch in, look at the mirrors, use the steering wheel and indicators, you know, gee whiz, how am I gonna pick this up? It can be a little overwhelming initially. So you start off with two, you've got your entry chart and we're trading in the direction of the higher time frame. Now, what we've got here is if you notice this here, and I'm gonna do some right hand, I'll close this down in a moment and I'll show you how we read the charts candle by candle or brick by brick in a moment. But what is really important here traders is that you understand your entries. Now, 
rather than be a breakout trader, a breakout trader would be typically we'd look for a break that little high, okay? We are trend continuation traders because we wanna get in down here, we wanna get in here, we wanna get in here, we wanna get in here. We don't wanna get in at these breakouts. Now, remember earlier I said, if we enter using what we call the rule of one, the first brick, we've only got, say, if we use a buy stop, I've only got a six tick stop which is $60. So um, we had, see this white paint bar here? Now that white paint bar does not appear until I get an uptick above the second, okay? So that is delayed. We have some traders that will only ever trade, members that only ever trade the white paint bar, that is they're in on the third candle. Uh, others like to get in on the first candle. And by getting in on the first candle, what it gives you is a smaller stop loss and a larger potential target. So right here, you had an entry. You're after a minimum of six to eight ticks. Okay, so if we got in on the third one, two, three, four, there's five, six. There's a lot more than six. There's six plus. Now notice here we're starting to go sideways, but also notice here traders just above you've got the pivot. And this is where you need to be very, very cautious with your pivots. Now, what I'm going to do is show you how we read the market. Let me expand this. And if I start perhaps from down here, because this is the skill set that you need to learn. And I want you to write this down. Get ready, get set, go. Okay, so I'm going to give you uh, that. Now, first of all, because we can see down there here, I'll just, here, I'll just give you a brief explanation. You basically got a little more than a triple top at the top here. See how our EMAs have started to turn. Right there is what we call a T20. Okay, that's a critical turning point and it's a mechanical potential entry you have and that is what we call a T20-1. Notice here also you've now got a new lower low and you've got a new lower high. So there is your entry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we now come down to our 200 and we now have uh, either a rule of one entry, the first candle, or we have the third candle. Because it's such a deep pullback, I wanna see the third candle. The first time it turns green, get ready, get set, go. And we got our six ticks again. Now we now go for our next entry, which is here. Notice here, we're still in an uptrend and remembering, normally speaking, we would be looking at our anchor charts just to confirm the trend. But already traders, the alarm bells are ringing. See the gold, okay? The gold is under the cyan, which is an 89 EMA. When we get that crossover, it generally um, gives a change in market direction. However, I still will say we've got a trade here and let's take this. I enter on the close of the third candle. I place my stop and I should have mentioned this. There are three critical factors, of course. Where's my entry? Where's my stop loss go? And where's my target? Now, as far as targets go, we can look up here. We can see we've got quite a number of market highs back here. However, I believe we're rolling over. So let's just see what happens. I did call it as a trade. Uh, that only went up uh, four ticks. Okay, notice support at the round number. See that 20 area holding again, see that there? Okay, now I'm still in that trade and, and I'll see whether I take a haircut. When I say I take a haircut, it means I'm gonna get out. All right, and usually have a loss because look at this pattern. All right, still in it, still in it. Now I've got my six to eight ticks. Okay, now I've got, I don't know what I've got just here. I'm going to not call anything here as a trade. Notice how my EMAs are all sideways. This is what you call a fanning of the EMAs. So now we're coming down, watch our bounce point down here. Okay, so down here we've got our 200. We've also got our round number. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Bang. Now see that white paint bar, that was just the green paint bar to begin with. Okay, so that's normally a get ready, but look at this trend down. I still 
don't have a trade entry. Okay, I still don't have a trade entry. Now I do. Why? I've now made a new lower high. We're slowly coming down. And notice here how we've tested this level. In fact, this is sort of one of the most difficult areas where we see our EMAs going sideways like this, okay? This is really testing the friendship. Now here, I will call this as a short. Now let's talk about targets. What have we got below our entry? Well, first of all, with the entry, I have two potential entries. I can enter on the first brick, which would have just been green at that time, not white. Okay, sorry, it would have been red. My apologies, let me get that right. It would have been red. Now, that's going to give me a smaller stop loss. Now, I've got to get past this 20 cent a barrel area, but then I've got the floor pivot. This actually technically is called a midline pivot. See up there, that's um, the uh, R, that I think it's the R2, resistance 2, and that's the R1. Now, this level here is the 50% level in between and it's um, just as powerful as a main pivot level. So I'm going to sell into that pivot, okay, and I'm after my six to eight ticks and nearly always you'll get a bounce, bang, there's your first bounce, All right? and see how you had it over here, it's just something that happens time and time again, likewise not only are floor pivots what we call price magnets, so are the major EMAs. You'll just be amazed at um, how if you're buying into a pivot or if you're buying into a major EMA, how often you bounce. It's 90%, it's incredible when you get to see it. So next thing here is what am I now looking for? See this pattern. See how I'm now getting a fanning of the EMAs? I'm looking for a short trade. So I'm looking for price to bounce up here and to um, reverse. Now, down here, I've got my long-term stochastic and my short. That's probably about to give me what I call a slingshot. And there it is right there. So even with that white paint bar, that actually is a red candle to begin with. So notice I've got a hook on my short term. I've also got what we call a 34B. I want to short this for six to eight ticks. And down we come, thank you very much. Now, talking about targets, here is my round number there of 41 a barrel. Now here, we just didn't quite touch it. Now we're now talking um, counter trend trading. Why? We've now taken out all of these lows uh, this is what we also call a 200 EMA overshoot right there, okay? Now, what we're going to do, we're now going to quickly look at, otherwise this is going to be too long, this video. We're now going to look at the four point. And let me just pull that over for you there. Uh, and what I was going to point out was this. See over here where you had a, another 200, that's a 200 EMA overshoot and you rallied up, this is a 200. These 200 overshoots are very, very, very powerful, let me, how many varies are going to use? <laughs> very powerful uh, trading zones. But let's now have a quick look before we finish up at the four point Renko. So what I'm looking at is the four point. Now the four point Renko means that every one of these steps here is worth $20 and every one of these bricks Candles is worth $40, okay? So there, we don't need too many to do really well. Now, the trading range of oil has been quite limited of recent times, as I mentioned, due to COVID. So that can be a bit of a hindrance, and that's why sometimes we'll drop the time frame down and look at a lower time frame. So this would be what you'd normally be trading during the New York hours. Now, for an example, just there, you've got, um, let's just take this one. This is uh, just a plain vanilla, vanilla, vanilla uh, ABC just there. It's a 78% pullback. Um, and you may be wondering, do we use FIB numbers? Well, look, we use FIB numbers in a number of our settings, but 
I'm not measuring generally the pullbacks. Like that's just the classic ABC. It's about a 78% pullback. And we just see that we don't usually even go and apply the Fibonacci tools to it. But there, when you've got this set of setup, and if you enter on the close of a third candle, I'm going to have a 13 tick stop, which means that's about $130. So I need to be going for that 13, 14 ticks minimum. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Look, there's a good $180 in that move. We then get a bounce. Notice how often you're bouncing off your major EMAs. It comes up, here's a new lower high. But once again, these areas are messy. When you've got your EMAs going sideways, they're always messy. And you know what you want to do is have the fanning of the EMAs. So the fanning of the EMAs, what am I doing here? The fanning of the EMAs is where you get this sort of thing. Okay, so we can see here we're getting a fanning. Notice the stacking order of those EMAs. So that's what you're looking for time and time again to make sure you're getting, you're away from that and getting the fanning. Okay, now there's a number of tools we can implement to help you with that uh, that are free. You don't have to buy. Um, let's just say for an example, if we look at the X8, our strategy. Let me just apply this. First of all, you can apply an ATR to pick up the runners, but then we can go and put in, say if we go and put um, the eight by eight in, and the eight by eight, what it does, it will keep you in a trade longer. Okay, so let me just um, pull, let me just, uh, just turn that off, disable the G trade, and let me just make this, sorry, just quickly adjust this, just make it easier for you. Format, let me do point cross. Okay, so let me just pull that down. Because in the end, you know, scalping is great, day trading is great, but just what you want to pick up these runners because see these here, your entry signal is that candle there. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Then it come back and you would have been back down to 18. Now it's $180 in that move. And there is, notice the white uh, dot below the blue. There's our re-entry, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. You had potential there of 140 again. Here is your net, well you actually had a re-entry there. Note how the white dots are above the blue. Notice how the white dots are above the blue. Notice how the white's above the blue and notice you're following the gold. The real secret to successful trading is to ensure traders that you're following the gold, okay? That you're trading with the trend. Now, in the next video, in session six, I'm gonna to talk to you about trading crude oil using tick charts. Now, with both tick charts and Renko, you get some fantastic patterns set up every single day, day in, day out. The 34B, the 2B, the T3, these are all codes we give our different setups, but like clockwork, every single day, because patterns continually repeat themselves in the market and tick charts can really work well, work hand in hand with Renko charts. So I'll be showing you that in the next program. And of course, even better still, come and join my program for $197. You go to my website and have a look at what you receive. There's a video there which will give you a tour. But for $197, you get the world's best program. There is nothing like this plus a month of coaching in the coaching room. So traders, thank you very much and I'll see you on the next video.